Alright guys, so the best way to understand the hierarchy is to have an example. If you take a look to our data, for example the customers, you can find some dimensions are related to each other's since they hold similar informations. For example, the dimension country, we have values like Germany, USA and France. And we have another dimension city where you can find the cities inside those countries. So for Germany we have Berlin, Stuttgart. And then we have a third dimension, postal code, where you can find the codes inside those cities. So as you can see, these three dimensions are describing a common information. They give us information about the user location. And we can relate those dimensions together using the hierarchy. In hierarchies, we have different levels and we start with the top node and we call it the root node. This node represents the highest level of aggregations in our hierarchy. And now we're gonna go to the next level of the hierarchy where we have the country. And in this level, we're gonna see more details about our data where we have, for example, the two values USA and Germany. And the links between the nodes, we call it branches. And now we're gonna go to the next level in our hierarchy. We have the level two city. So here in the city, we will see more details about our data. So in USA, we have Portland and Seattle. And in Germany, we have Stuttgart and Berlin. And again, we have the link between the parent node and the child node using the branches. And now we're going to go to the last level in the hierarchy. We have the postal code. And here we're going to split the structure furthermore with more details. So we have the following postal codes for each cities. And now since the postal code is the last level in our hierarchy and those values don't have any children, we call those nodes as the leaf nodes. The leaf nodes or the leaves, they represent the most detailed level of our data in this hierarchy. So now with that we have the complete structure of our hierarchy and as you can see it looks like a tree structure. The top node we call it the root node, it represents the highest level of the details, then we have the intermediate levels and they are connected using branches and the last level we call it leaf nodes where it represents the lowest level of details. So we have the root node, it represents the highest level of the aggregations, then we have intermediate levels connected with the branches and then we have the leaves, the leaf nodes, they represent the lowest level of details in our data. So as we learned before, we can do many OLAP operations on the cube. So if we have a hierarchy in our data, we can do two very important operations, the drill down and the drill up. The drill down and drill up, they are OLAP operations that's gonna help us to navigate through the hierarchy in order to gain deeper or higher level understanding of the data. So let's understand first how the drill down works. Let's say that we are working with the major sales, we start on the top node on the highest level. So at the highest level, we're going to have the total sales in the whole data sets. For example, it's going to be 140. So now we are at the highest level at the root node. And if you use drill down, you're going to jump to the next lower level in the hierarchy. So that means at this level, we're going to see more details about the sales. So for USA, we have 90 and for Germany, we have 50. And now if you want to see more details about your data, we're going to apply again drill down in order to jump to the next lower level in the structure. So what's going to happen? We're going to go to the level two and here the sales going to split between Portland and Seattle. We have 40 and 50. And for Germany, we're going to have 24 Stuttgart and 30 for Berlin. So that means we are seeing more details about our sales. And now if you want to go to the lowest level to the leaves, we're going to drill down from the city to postal code. So it's gonna look like this. The Portland gonna split between those two postal codes. So Seattle gonna be the same because we have only one child. The same for Stuttgart, it's gonna stay 20. And Berlin, we have two postal codes, so it's gonna split again. So as you can see, we are using drill down to navigate through the hierarchy by taking us from higher level to lower level of details. It's like we are expanding the tree to see more details to understand our data. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the second OLAP operation, the drill up, it's exactly the opposite of drill down. Drill up gonna take us from bottom to top, from lower to higher level of details. So how it works, let's say we're gonna start at the leaves and we're gonna have the sales of those leaves. And now we can use a drill up to move from the postal code to the city. So for example, we're gonna have the total sales in Berlin 30 because it's the sum of 10 plus 20. And then in Stuttgart gonna stay the same 20, Seattle 50 and Portland as well gonna sum up the values from the leaves. So we're gonna have the value of 40. So 
as you can see, as we are moving higher, the value is going to get more aggregated. Let's say that we want to jump to the country. So we can use again a drill up to move from the city to the countries. So for Germany, we're going to have the total sales of 50. And for USA, we're going to have the total sales of 90. And now you can use again drill up to go to the root node where you can have the highest level of aggregations. So we're going to have the value of 140, the total sales inside our data set. So as you can see, if we have a hierarchy structure, we can use a drill up and drill down to navigate through the hierarchy structure. So hierarchies organize and structure the member of the dimensions into a logical tree structure by grouping similar dimensions together. Hierarchies are really important and give dynamics to your views where you can have the big picture and understand the data at the highest level and you can drill down to specific details to gain deeper knowledge about your data. Alright guys, so now we are back to Tableau. Let's understand how we can create hierarchies in Tableau. We can create hierarchies only on the worksheet page. We cannot create it at the data source page. And in the worksheet page, we can create hierarchy on the data bank page. And if you take a look to the customers tables, you can find that we already have a hierarchy. And here we have a small icon that indicates we have a hierarchy, the hierarchy name called country city. And on the left side over here, we have small arrow. If we click on it, the hierarchy can expand and we can see the dimensions inside this hierarchy. Speaking about dimensions, hierarchies could be used only for dimensions. You cannot create a hierarchy from measures. And this hierarchy that we have over here, it is created automatically from Tableau. Since Tableau analyzed the content of the country and the city and automatically understood that there is a hierarchy between them. But since we want to learn how to create a hierarchy, we're going to go and remove it and create a new one from the scratch. So now in order to remove a hierarchy, you go to the hierarchy name over here, right click on it. And then here we have the option remove hierarchy. Here you have to understand that that's the dimensions inside the hierarchies will not be deleted. Only the hierarchy itself will be deleted. So you will not lose any fields. Only the logical tree, the logical hierarchy will be removed. All right. So now let's see how we can create hierarchy in Tableau and we're going to create the location hierarchy. We're going to go to the left side to the data pane and we're going to select one of the dimensions. It doesn't matter which one you're going to select, but I prefer to start with the highest level of the hierarchy. So here in our example, it's going be the country so select the country right click on it and then here we have something called hierarchy and we're gonna select create hierarchy so let's go there we have to give it a name so we're gonna call it location hierarchy and then hit ok as you can see now on the left side we have the icon of the hierarchy and inside it we have only one dimension the country now in our hierarchy we have as well the city and the postal code so how we can add it to this hierarchy as we learn the hierarchy has different levels and the order of those levels are really important so we have country city and postal code so now in order to add the city we are just gonna drag and drop the city beneath the country over here and release it. So with that, we have now the city inside our hierarchy. Let's grab as well the postal code. So we have to drag and drop it beneath the city. Let's release. And with that, we have created the location hierarchy with the three dimensions, country, city, and postal code. So here again, if you want to hide the details about this hierarchy, we can collapse it over here. Or if you want to see the details, we can expand the hierarchy. All right, so this is one way on how to create hierarchy in Tableau by using dropdown. The second way on how to create hierarchy, we can quickly drag and drop dimensions together. So for example, if we go to the products table, we have as well a hierarchy here between the category, product name and subcategory. So our hierarchy starts with the category, then the subcategory, and the last one that leaves is going to be the product name. So now let's see how we can create the hierarchy using quickly drag and drop. We're going to take one of those dimensions. Let's say we're going to start with the category, drag and drop it inside the subcategory. So I'm now hovering and selecting the subcategory. Let's release. Once we do that, Tableau understands that we want to connect those dimensions. So Tableau is going to create a new hierarchy. We're going to call it the product hierarchy. And let's hit OK. And now let's see on the left side, we have new hierarchy called the product hierarchy with the icon. And we have inside it two dimensions, category and subcategory. We are missing the third dimension. Let's take the product name and drop it in the hierarchy. So now we have problem with that. The order of the dimensions inside our hierarchy is wrong because the dimension category should be the level one and the subcategory should be the level two. So how we can fix that? Just select the category, 
and drag and drop it on top of the subcategory. Let's release that. And that's it. This is how you change the order of the categories. And with that, we have the product hierarchy. All right. So now let's say that we want not to remove the whole hierarchy. We just want to remove one member, one dimension from the hierarchy. So in order to do that, let's say we want to remove the product name, select it and just drag and drop it somewhere here in the empty space. And with that, the product name is not anymore member of the hierarchy. So this is how we can remove dimensions from hierarchy, but I want to put them back in our hierarchy because we need it later so i will put the subcategory beneath the category and we take the product name and put it beneath the subcategory and that's it so these are the two methods of creating hierarchies in tableau either by drop down menu or by quickly drag and drop the dimensions together in order to create a hierarchy it's really easy All right, so now we have this hierarchy, this structure, how are we gonna use it inside our view? It's really easy, we're gonna go and select the whole hierarchy, then drag and drop it to the view. So here the hierarchy is gonna start from the level one for the countries, and we're gonna see the values of the country. And now let's have one of those measures, we're gonna take the sales and drag and drop it on the columns. So now if you look closely to the country, to the blue pill over here, you can see that we have a new sign, the plus sign. This sign indicates that we can drill down in this dimension. So now let's go and click on the plus sign. As you can see now, we are drilling down in our hierarchy to a lower level. So now we are seeing more details about the sales and we are now at the level of the city to the next level. So now, as you can see, we have the dimension city in our rows. We didn't drag and drop it from the database and put it at the rows. It expanded from the hierarchy. And again here, the city has the plus sign that indicates we can drill down inside the city. So let's drill down again. So as you can see, now we are at the postal code and we can see more details about the sales. And now if you check the postal code, there is no plus sign like the city and the country because we are at the leaves. We are at the lowest level of details in our data. So with that, we have navigated through our hierarchy from the top node to the leaves. As you can see, it's really easy and very dynamic. So now let's say that we are at the leaves and we want to drill up back to the highest level of the aggregations, back to the top node. It's really easy. If you check again the city and the countries, we don't have anymore the plus sign. We have the minus sign. The minus sign indicates that we can drill up in the hierarchy. So let's see what's going to happen if you click on the minus sign. As you can see, we drill up now from the leaves, from the postal code, back to the city. And the values of those sales are now more aggregated. And now the same thing, if you want to drill up from the city back to the country, we're going to click on the minus sign. So let's do that. And with that, we are moved to the level one, to the highest aggregation in our hierarchy. All right. So, so far, what we have done is we drill up and drill down in our hierarchy using the row shelves. And you know that the rows and the columns, we use it as developers to build our view. So now the question is how our users and the audience get to drill up and drill down through the hierarchy because the hierarchy should be as well used quickly from the users to drill down to the details. So now let's see how we can do that. If we go to the view over here and hover on the country, we can see again a plus sign. So let's go and click on that. And as you can see, we drill down in our hierarchy from the country to the city. So now let's go more in details and drill down to the postal code. We can hover on the city. And as you can see, we have again the plus sign. So click on that. And with that, we drill down to the postal code. So this is exactly how the user is going to drill down in the view. So now if we want to drill up back to the higher level, we can do the same. We can see the minus sign over here. Click on it and you go back to the city. And then we go to the country as well. We have the minus. We click on that. And with that, we drill up back to the country. So as you can see with those icons, we can navigate through our hierarchy. So now you might say, oh, your users, you know what? This is a really small icon and my users don't like it. So is there any other way to drill up and drill down in the view? Well, yes. If you go to any of those values over here and right click on it, you can see in this drop down, we have a drill down. So if you click on that, we drill down to the city. The same if you select any value. It doesn't matter which one. Let's go over here and then drill down again. And with that, we are at the postal code. If you want to drill up, you can do the same. Any values, right click on it. And here we have the drill up. So select that. And to drill up back to the country, go to any values in the country, right click on it and drill up. So those are the two ways on how to drill down and drill up in the view. 
right guys so so far we have created our own hierarchies by putting those dimensions together in different levels but in tableau we have as well indirect embedded hierarchies in the data type date in tableau any field with the data type date has the following hierarchy it starts with the highest level with the year then we have the quarter then month and then the lowest level the leaves we have the days so those four levels are the default levels inside each field with the data type date in our data set and now we have another data type that holds as well an embedded indirect hierarchy we have the fields with the date and time so here we have informations about the time and we have seven levels it starts exactly like the date so the highest level gonna be the year then the quarter month and then the day but now we can drill down to more details since we have the time information so the next level gonna be the hours then we have minutes and seconds and the seconds are the lowest level of details they are our leaves so here we have several levels of the hierarchy so date and date and time they have hierarchy embedded inside it so now let's uncover those hierarchies in tableau all right so now we're gonna go to the table orders and here we have two dates doesn't matter which one both of them are gonna have exactly the same hierarchy so let's take the the order date drag and drop it here on the rows and now as you can see we have now the plus sign it indicates there is a hierarchy and it starts at the highest level with the years so now let's take a measure to see some data we're gonna take the order counts and put it in the columns and i want to show as well the labels so let's show some labels all right so now let's go and discover the hierarchy inside the date as you can see on the left sides we don't see any informations about the hierarchy so that means it's really embedded inside this data type so let's go on the years and click on the plus sign to drill down as you can see the next information we have the quarter informations so now we see the total number of orders by the quarter so now we can see more details about the total counts and then we can drill down to the day and now we are at the lowest level at the day we cannot drill down further to for example hours minutes and seconds because the order date has the data type date so as you can see the dimension order date has four levels years quarter month and day it's really nice to have it like this in tableau because it's really standard so i worked with other bi tools and there we have to build it in our own which is really time consuming to build all those hierarchies especially if you have a big data set so here in tableau our life is easier tableau did decide to have a hierarchy inside each date all right guys so one more thing about the hierarchies they really organize and structure your views and make it more dynamic for the users so for example if you have the requirements to make sales by country sales by city sales by postal code and you don't use hierarchies you will end up making three views like here on the left side so it takes a lot of space and as well it's not really dynamic but better than that we can create hierarchy between those dimensions and we can put everything in one view and then you give the options for the end users to drill down and drill up depending on what they need so here if they want the sales by country we have it already at the top node but if they want the sales by city all what they have to do is to drill down to the next level and we have it already sales by city and if someone's need to go more in detail to go to the postal code they can drill down as well to the sales by postal code so as you can see it gives really your view more dynamic and gonna be more attractive for the end users so if you compare to the left sides now we have more dynamic more interactive active for the end users and as well you are creating list views in your dashboards so this is really great so if you want to drill up back to the country we can just click the minus sign so hierarchies gives more dynamic its structure and organize your data in the views all right guys so now let's summarize hierarchies organize and structure the members of the dimensions into logical tree structure and hierarchies are special feature only for dimensions you cannot create hierarchies between measures and we can use drill down and drill up to navigate through our hierarchy to gain deeper or higher level understanding of your data overall hierarchies are really important to organize and structure your data in the views and it provides for the users a powerful tool to quickly and easily navigate and explore your data uncover insights and make better decisions all right so that's all for hierarchies in tableau next we will learn how to group the members of dimensions into higher categories using groups and if you like my content and you want to support the channel then i really appreciate it if you support like and comment this is really gonna help the youtube algorithm thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye